This video explains how to merge two time series objects in the R programming language. So without much talk, let's dive into the R code. As a first step for this tutorial, we need to create two example time series objects, as you can see in lines 2 to 10 of the code. So in lines 2 to 4 of the code, I'm creating our first time series object called time1. And we can print this time series object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 5 of the code. And then you can see that our time series contains values from January to December for the year 2019. It's also possible to create another time series object as you can see in lines 7 to 9. So after running these lines of code, another time series is created called time2. And we can print this time series to the bottom by running line 10. And then you can see that this time series contains values from January to December for the year 2020. Now, if we want to combine these two time series objects, we might use the rbind function, as you can see in line 12. And within the rbind function, we would specify our two time series objects, time1 and time2. And then I'm also storing the output of this in a new data object that I call metMerge. So after running line 12 of the code, this data object is created and we can print it to the bottom by running line 13. However, now you can see we have combined our two time series objects, but this data object does not show the month anymore. And you can also see based on the formatting of this object that we have converted our time series data into a matrix. So this is probably not the best way to do it. And for that reason, I want to show you an alternative in lines 15 to 18 of the code. So in these lines of code, I'm using the TS function. And then within the TS function, I specify a vector that contains all the values in our two time series objects. Then I specify a starting point, which is equal to the start of time one and a frequency, which is equal to the frequency in time one. So after running lines 15 to 17 of the code, you can see that another time series object is appearing at the top right, which is called TS merge. And we can also print this time series to the bottom by running line 18 of the code. And then you can see that we have properly merged our two time series objects. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.